Hi everyone, welcome to the Container Garden Series. I'm very excited about this series because a lot of you are growing in small spaces, on a deck, a patio, a balcony, and only growing in containers. So this series is gonna focus on growing specific vegetables successfully in containers, and we're even gonna be visiting some viewer gardens who are growing on balconies, patios, small spaces. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll bring you along for the whole process. But this first video is all about five secrets to growing lots of tomatoes in containers. Now, if you're growing in a small space and you think you can't grow a large vegetable like a tomato, think again, because you can grow tomatoes in containers and harvest a lot successfully. Homegrown tomatoes are so amazingly delicious. Growing tomatoes in containers is pretty similar to growing them in your in-ground garden or in your raised beds, with a few really important differences. And when you address these differences, you'll have the secrets to growing lots of tomatoes in containers. Now, first of all, let's just start off with a few tomato basics. Tomatoes are a warm weather vegetable, which means you need to get them planted outside after your last frost date. They like temperatures between 50 to 60 degrees at night on up to about 90 degrees during the day. So they really thrive in those warm summer temperatures and they love a lot of sun. At least six hours of sun a day is best. If you can give them more, you're gonna get a lot more tomatoes. The first secret to growing tomatoes in containers, believe it or not, is to choose the right container. Now here I have a beautiful tomato growing in a 20 gallon container. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they choose a container that's way too small. Now tomatoes have a pretty extensive root system. They have nice deep, deep roots. So if you get a large container, you're gonna give a lot more room for those tomato roots to grow and produce, take up water and nutrients, and then grow you a lot of tomatoes. I love these little tomato flowers, They're actually really big tomato flowers that are popping out here, which means that tomatoes are on the way. There's lots of different options when it comes to containers. You can choose plastic, terracotta, fabric. Now I've grown in fabric containers for years. You guys know what a big fan I am of the Smart Pots, and I absolutely love them because not only do they look really nice in the garden, they're easy to move around, but the fabric is breathable, which I think is really important, especially for tomatoes because it allows lots of oxygen to get into the roots, allows the roots and the soil to drain really well at the bottom, and they just grow really nice vegetables. The roots don't get root bound, which is super important, especially when you're growing tomatoes, because like I mentioned, they have tons and tons of roots. So what size container should you choose to grow a tomato in? Well, if you're growing a full size indeterminate tomato, an indeterminate just means the tomatoes produce all season long and they're killed off by frost in the fall or in the winter months. It's a large tomato, eight to 10 feet tall and a larger size tomato. So for that size tomato, you really need a container of at least 10 to 20 gallons. So the root structure can have plenty of room to grow and take up the water and nutrients. If you don't have room for a large container or a large size tomato, you can still grow tomatoes in smaller containers, but the secret is choose the right type of variety for a smaller container. Now here I have a dwarf tomato, Tiny Tim. It's my favorite dwarf tomato growing in a five gallon fabric smart pots. This tomato only grows to about two feet tall. So it's perfect size for the perfect container. So really the secret is choosing the right tomato for the right size container, and you're bound to get tons of tomatoes. So choose a dwarf variety or a determinate variety, which tend to be smaller varieties of tomatoes, and then choose a five to 10 gallon container for your smaller varieties. Now I just gotta show you guys this Tiny Tim tomato. I love this little guy. There's tons of tomatoes on here. And honestly, I think one reason why it looks so good is because it's growing in this fabric pot. It just has the air. Um, and the oxygen that it needs to develop a lot of tomatoes. Look at all these tomatoes. Tons and tons of tomatoes all over this little guy. And I have seeds for him in my container garden seed collection. We're gonna get a tomato planted today in this orange 15 gallon Smart Pots. It's really hard to choose guys. I started all these tomatoes from seed. Got a little lineup here, but I think what I've decided on is the Golden Jubilee. I love the Golden Jubilee. It's an orange sweet tomato, and I think it's gonna look really pretty in this orange Smart Pots. But before we get it planted, let's talk about secret number two to growing lots of tomatoes in Smart Pots, and that is the soil. Now a mistake that a lot of gardeners make is they put garden soil into their containers. You definitely don't wanna make that mistake because it's just too heavy, doesn't drain well, and usually doesn't grow your tomatoes very well. So I like to choose an organic bagged potting mix. And my favorite is Good Dirt. Now I love this because it has lots of great nutrients in it and it's a great investment. It lasts season after season, doesn't get compacted. And honestly, 
I think that's another reason why my tomatoes look so good too, is because I grow in good dirt. And I'm gonna fill this pot about a third of the way full. I'll tell you why I'm not gonna fill it all the way up in just a moment. But first off, we're gonna moisten the dirt because you always wanna plant your container plants in pre-moistened soil. And it is important that you pre-moisten the soil, that way the plants have all the water they need to get off to a really good start right when you get them planted. And you wanna choose a potting mix that drains really well, especially for tomatoes, so that all those roots get the oxygen they need and are able to take up the nutrients and grow lots of tomatoes in your container. So we're just gonna moisten up the soil a little bit. You don't want it soaking wet about the consistency of, you know what I always say, crumbly brownie mix. We're gonna add a little bit more soil and then work, add a little bit more water and then work it in until the soil is nice and moist. So when you're growing in containers, your biggest investment is definitely gonna be your soil, but purchasing or making your own high quality good soil is so critical when you're growing in containers and it's really gonna determine how productive your plants are. The better the soil, the more luck you're gonna have growing lots of tomatoes. Now I've mixed in the water, so let me just show you about the consistency here. See how it's nice and evenly moist? You don't get a lot of water when you squeeze it. About the consistency of crumbly brownie mix, and there's no dry spots here in the soil. That way your tomatoes are gonna get off to a good start. Third secret to growing lots of tomatoes in containers is to plant them deep. Now we've talked on other tomato growing videos before, but tomatoes are a really cool vegetable because they have little tiny hairs along the stems. And whenever those stems touch the soil, they grow into roots, which is perfect for tomatoes because all of those roots feed the tomato plant lots of nutrients so that it can grow lots of tomatoes for you. Now what we're gonna do is plant this tomato deep in this container. And something also cool about smart pots is they're pretty flexible because they're fabric. So you can fold the sides over for a smaller container, but it works perfect for tomatoes because it allows us to get a small tomato plant like this one planted deep in the container and then add more soil as the plant grows so that the little stem develops lots more roots. So we got our smart pot sides folded down. I'm gonna make a hole in the middle of my container here and that's where we're gonna pop our tomato. So we'll grab the Golden Jubilee. And you see in here, I've got three different, actually four different little transplants. I'm gonna pick the biggest one out, separate it, and that way we can keep on growing the other three. And I'm giving these, some of these to a neighbor because there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit all these tomato plants in my garden. And you do wanna just stick to one tomato plant per container. That way the plant doesn't get crowded. You can still um, get all the nutrients that it needs to grow nice and strong. I just love the looks of this tomato seedling and the roots are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna pop that deep in the pot. Little golden jubilee here. Fill the hole in. Gonna remove the bottom couple of leaves here, or stems. And I think I can even add a little bit more soil. We wanna get the soil up to about this level. So all these little tiny hairs grow those roots. I pre-moistened some good dirt here in this bin. I'm just gonna add some more around my tomato plant. Get it nice and full. And I am running a sale this weekend, 20% off at CaliKimGardeningHome.com. It applies to all of my seed collections, including the Container Garden Seed Collection, which has 12 varieties of vegetables specifically designed for growing in containers done all the legwork for you and so you don't have to wonder which seeds to buy but the kicker thing is here guys you get a free tomato seed packet with every purchase with this particular sale that sale is good through Monday May 10th so go over and grab your seeds and grow in containers along with me now as our little tomato plant grows and gets bigger, what I'll do is fold up the sides of the smart pots and continue to add more soil so that stem is always getting more soil touching it and continues to grow more roots and then it'll grow into a nice big tomato plant like this one and grow us a lot of tomatoes. Secret number four to growing lots of tomatoes in containers is consistent watering and fertilizing. 
One of the biggest mistakes that people make with container growing is they let the soil dry out too much, the plants get stressed. And whenever a plant gets stressed, it's not gonna be as productive as possible because it's continually recovering from the stress. So one of the keys for me for consistent watering has been drip irrigation. Now in Southern California here, we have been under drought conditions for several years. I would be absolutely lost without drip irrigation, especially in containers, because they dry out a whole lot quicker than your in-ground garden or your raised beds. So for me, it just takes the guesswork out of it. I can set it on a timer and then just forget about it. I don't have to worry about my plants drying out. But if you're in an area where you get a lot of rain, you may not need drip irrigation, but the key is really checking your plants daily to make sure that the soil is not drying out. And what you can do to do that is just use your finger as a moisture meter, stick it in the soil. If the soil feels wet, that means it doesn't need water, but if you pull up a little bit of soil and it feels dry, or the top is a light brown color, it means your soil is starting to dry out and you definitely need to water your plants. So it's gonna be different for everyone. But here you can see I'm just winding my drip irrigation hose around my container. You install it um, in a very similar way as you would in your in-ground garden. With the exception is you wanna hook it to a separate system that's just for your containers or a separate zone that's just for your containers. That way it gets watering more often. Another reason why consistent watering is very important, especially in containers with tomatoes, is because tomatoes are really susceptible to blossom end rot. Now, if you've ever seen blossom end rot, that's just kind of a soft brown spot at the bottom of your tomatoes. You definitely don't want that. But one of the keys to preventing blossom end rot is consistent watering. It basically means there's a lack of calcium, which can be taken care of when your plants are watered consistently, then your tomatoes can take up calcium from the soil. So a lot of times people will add calcium to the soil, but consistent watering is really the key to that. Now, as we water here, we're also going to fertilize, which is another key to growing a lot of tomatoes in containers, is consistent fertilizing. Because the, the nutrients drain out of the container a lot quicker than they do your in-ground garden. And I'm gonna make a little plant cocktail here with the Good Dirt Plant Food. And this has some really great amino acids in it, which really help the health of your plant, as well as the Vermisterra worm tea which has all that good beneficial bacteria, help your plant be nice and healthy. So I like to water my containers with this little plant cocktail every 10 days. And guys, the consistency here really makes a huge difference. So you can water with that plant cocktail in one of your regular watering sessions. If you're using drip, you just wanna uh, drench the soil of your um, tomato plant here every 10 days and then let the drip do the watering during the other times. So drench it here really good till it runs out the bottom. And that way the tomato is getting the nutrients it needs consistently to grow a lot of tomatoes for you throughout the growing season. So what you might wanna do, this is what I like to do, is just set a little reminder on your phone so you don't forget every 10 days to two weeks to give your tomato plants a nice good feeding. I know my little Golden Jubilee tomato looks pretty small right now, but believe you me, it's gonna grow fast especially when you use all the secrets to growing lots of tomatoes that we talk about in this video. As it grows, it's gonna need some support. And one of the biggest mistakes a lot of gardeners make is they don't provide support for their tomatoes or they don't provide big enough cages for their tomatoes to grow on. Now, tomatoes are a vining vegetable. They need to be kept up off the ground, away from pests and critters. They need all that airflow on the bottom so they don't get diseases. So you can go a couple of different ways with supports. You can either go the DIY route or you can pre-purchase some supports that are already pre-made. And this one here is one of my favorites. It's by Gardeners. It's called the Titan Tomato Trellis. It works really well because it fits perfectly in a smart pots. It's nice and sturdy. And one of the really cool things I like about this particular trellis is that you can pop these little rings off and move them up and down easily to the right height and then just pop them right back on. And this one I've had for a couple of years and I really like it. So if you wanna be a little bit more budget friendly and go the DIY route, this is one of my favorites here. This is actually two tomato cages that I got from the garden center. You don't wanna use just one because it's not gonna be tall enough. This plant will probably grow to about 10 feet tall. So what I did here is I just stuck another tomato cage right on top, inverted it, and then connected it here with cable ties. And then I put a couple of stakes right in the middle here to make it nice and sturdy. This will easily be able to hold up and support all the tomatoes we're gonna grow here. So as my little seedling here grows and I fold up the sides and add more soil, I'm gonna be adding a nice sturdy tomato support in this pot as well. 
Let me know if you're going to be growing tomatoes in containers along with me this season. It's going to be a ton of fun to watch these tomato plants grow, to be able to harvest a lot as we go through the season. Join me in the Container Garden series. Grab my Container Garden seed collection and my book. Lots of great Container Garden tips in here. You can save $5 when you get them as the book bundle over at CaliKimGardenAndHome.com. And make sure you use the code MOM to get 20% off and that free tomato seed packet through Monday, May 10th, 2021 in celebration of Mother's Day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.